hell oh i forgot to un undo unblock your face here hold on hello everyone welcome to the stream i want to apologize in advance for drunk juicy uh it was not my choice hey, not drinking all day you know i think you mean to say you have not stopped drinking all day i don't like the tone you have right here all right i don't like it at all second of all andy sister menace <laughs> Why? Have you seen the way she just absolutely gobbles down his toys? Oh, like in the first... I was like, when did she gobble? Oh, when she was a baby. Okay. Yeah. We're only on uh, Toy Story, the first Toy Story right now, so like... Well, I we can't... haven't started it yet, but we watched both Toy, first Toy Story 1 and Toy Story 2 this week. You're actually watching the movies this time. I am watching the movies this time, so I'm going to have some interesting, you know takes yeah. on these movies Interesting. this time um <laughs> thanks you know, last time it was that scared me a little i haven't seen the movies so i was like you know what i might as well watch them this time bring my own take of the movies to the stream i some reason i don't like that like something about that makes you go no fucking thank you would you prefer me just to like not watch the movies and then bring my own definition of what i remember the movies to be at this point i don't know what i want from you to be honest it's hard to know it's hard to know what the right thing from you is there's no right thing uh, here's our uh here's our bracket or our, uh, our list i made it fancy this time around ah. it's uh it's probably gonna definitely be some glitching and i'm definitely gonna fuck it up when i zoom in and zoom out or move anything but we'll work around it Plot twist, the person we rank first is going to end up number one. Buzz Lightyear? Yes. Uh, so you might notice we have two Buzz Lightyears on that. I'll explain that more later, but there's two Buzz Lightyear characters that we've watched. Are you talking about the Buzz Lightyear that's Andy's toy and then the, uh, you know... Alright, bye. Thanks for Buzz coming by, HBC. Hope to see you soon. Toy. Yeah, the one that's from the, the toy store. Ah, yes. You know, I could tell the difference. One had their, uh, you know, shield on and the other one didn't. Yeah, I put that helmet on there so that you wouldn't be too dumb and not notice. That's fair. Thank you for that. <laughs> well, let's start with our uh, with our Toy Story 1. So over to the movies here. Toy Story 1, I would say. Sadly, number one. Okay. At this point, actually, yeah. Well... <laughs> <laughs> not much of a choice there um i wouldn't put it two would we'll definitely wouldn't put it two i would also wouldn't put it you know half i wouldn't put, put it half. Half one so. i wouldn't put it zero definitely it definitely, definitely exists not zero definitely not it's definitely a movie that's there yeah it's a good movie i honestly think it'll stay at the top of the list for a while not number one but definitely like top top of the list at least for one movie It'll definitely be one for, for a while, for at least this round. At least one round. All right, well, let's get into the characters, the little characters. Or. So, yeah, as I mentioned, the first character we got is some Buzz Lightyear. I Personally, mean... for me. Oh, yeah, I gotta bring up my notes here. At this point, I have to put him at number one. Um, number one. yeah, I mean, I think, um... I think. Yeah, I mean, I what the think, hell just happened? I think, yeah, I mean, I what the think, hell just happened? Think, oh, whoopsie daisy! <laughs> I was just echoing myself on stream. Hold on. Uh, yeah. So I mean, you can make a case for for two, I think, but like I'm gonna put him one right now. What do you think about nine? But I'm trying to find my notes here on on Buzz Lightyear, so we can talk about what Buzz Lightyear has. And I I, I know there's one character that me and you are going to get up in arms about tonight. I know there's one character because I want to rank him so high based on one specific thing. And I know you're going to stop me. Uh, Movie notes. Week one. I can't wait. Toy Story 1. All right. So my good guy, Buzz Lightyear, right? What do you think about, though? I know it's early, but what do you think about ranking Buzz at 9? See, I'm feeling. I think. I think one makes more sense to me. If I'm being one honest. right now. All right, let's go with one for now. But later on, we will see. All right, and let's, let me tell you a little bit about Buzz. He falls with style. Uh, he does fall in style. 
He's got a light bulb that blinks. He uh Indeed. he's got removable limbs. So I'm not sure how his arm was removed, to be honest with you. He did you watch the movie? <laughs> I did. I did actually. Okay, so I, he committed suicide. He he did in fact do that, but he well he jumped off. His arm had. Here's the thing. His yeah. arm was clearly separated from his body, right? Yeah, it's got he the little peg. The, the peg in the. So he just needed a screw and a peg. Okay, but we agreed that his arm was separated from his body. That happened in the movie. Do we agree but, upon this? that? Yes, we can agree upon it. Okay, but as I was looking at him laying next to his arm, it appeared that his arm had uh, his arm had threads to it, so his arm's not easily separate, separable. I think you're thinking of Woody. Nope, nope, no. Nope. Hold on, I think you're thinking. We're talking about Buzz here. Yeah, Buzz doesn't have threads. He's made out of plastic. Correct. There's threads on the screw. His arm was a oh, screwable arm. I see. I see what you mean. Uh... Though easily detachable, there was a big, like, you know, his arm wouldn't have broke off unless it actually broke off. And if it did break off, he couldn't have put his arm back in. So let me see if I can show you this. Yeah, look at the uh, threads on that. Yeah, but I mean, he could... He could pull that off and screw it back on. Maybe not, though. But, okay. I'm just saying... Well, what, it, but, okay, it, but his it, limbs could get... Accuracy the... within the movie, because if he did fall and that did break off and actually happen... Okay, but his limbs could be detached. So, pin, so, so he's like... Stuck in his arm. He's not putting that back on. Like, he's done. But it's also not going to hurt him. I guess is kind of what I was getting at. So, like, if somebody just yeah, takes... Yeah, I his... guess it won't really hurt him. You're right there. And if somebody so... does take his... He still had control over his arm. Like, he can still move his arm. Can he still move his arm? Yeah, there was a scene where when um, Woody was holding it, he was like... Uh, Buzz was actually, like, making his fingers move. Oh, yeah. And he went, like... Yeah. You know, he did Hello, KK. There, right? Yeah. KK's always got to come in here and say no. He can't ever have a yes yes attitude. Can't have that can't do attitude. No, he never does. Um, so Buzz Lightyear, number one. I guess I'll go Hello. number one for now. Oh, uh, look at he's agree with it, but we'll go with it. we'll go with it for now. Look at KK's infecting Ricey with his negative attitude. I don't <gasps> like it. I mean, it's probably because they're looking at you on screen, which is fair. Probably. Yeah, I mean, I would look at myself on screen and get really negative. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it works. Let me tell you. <laughs> I heard you before the stream started. You were super negative, actually. Well, KK, KK doesn't want to hang out for the Pixar. I thought he would want to. He would want to fight. Um, fight me on where all the Pixar characters are gonna go. Ah, uh, normally. Seems yeah. like seems like KK's uh, KK's uh. Whatever you call it, attitude. What, what is it called when somebody does something on the regular? Hangry. <laughs> no, bro. I got a girlfriend. I hang out with people now, laughing my ass off. Oh, good job, KK. Hey! I bet Ju Juicy's a little jealous. Probably you're cheating on him, but do you take her to McDonald's? Yeah, this whole time you told me you were mine, so we'll talk after. Bye, KK. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he takes her to McDonald's. I hope he's good to her. At least get her sixty nine piece McNugget. All right, we should we should probably get get the ball rolling here. We got a lot of characters. Um, roll down the alley here. He's really trying. <laughs> um, because we both are taken, and here we are. <gasps> I'm not taken. I was only taken by you. Um, that was what Ricey said. <laughs> Old Woodrow Wilson is next up. Your, your drunkness is throwing me off a little bit, as I knew it would. As I knew it would. Really surprising. Yeah. Um. So so Woody, the sheriff boy. What are we thinking? Uh, let me t let me tell you a little bit about Woody. Actually, Woody is very clever. 
Uh, he comes up okay. with a real good plan to murder Buzz. I, I think it's solid. Does, I think it's. I think it's clear. Can we also both agree that Woody is the villain of Toy Story One? Woody is. Yeah, Woody is the villain of Toy Story One. Tell me I'm wrong. I agree with you. Okay. Um, I think Disney makes Sid out to be the villain, technically. Sid. Because Sid is a five-year-old to seven-year-old child who is destroying his choice nine, because he's creative. I agree to disagree on age here, but I think Sid is made out to be the villain. KK's going to stay because he got debated and his girlfriend's doing something right now, so he's going to stay for a bit. Ah, yes, classic. He's ancient and he has um, a tool inside of him that's rare. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm saying Woody is technically the villain in Toy Story 1. Oh, 100%. Sid's so just you a child enjoying in creativity. 1, you can't deny Andy didn't try to kill his little sister. Wait, Andy tried to kill his... Oh, yeah, by giving her Mr. Potato Head that's not clearly not supposed to be played with for kids under three. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Like... She can't be playing with Mr. Potato Head at that age. <laughs> Well, more things here about, about Woody. He's a natural leader. Uh, he got knocked around in the back of the Pizza Planet truck and got squashed by a toolbox. Uh, he has a very high pain tolerance. He had tools dropped on him. And he's a pro horse slash pro dog rider. Uh, that being said, uh, solely by, uh, based on the fact that he's cloth. And uh, yo, KK just called you Sean. Uh, in <gasps> KK, he is he is very drunk. He's been drinking all day. I have not. KK oh, said you look very drunk. What the fuck? I was gonna I say am. hi to Sean, laughing my ass off. I'm trolling. Um, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Woody at number two solely based on the fact that he's cloth and uh, Buzz Lightyear is plastic. <laughs> And I would I, say too as well to be honest with you. And I think Buzz Lightyear could just uh could just easily rip him apart. Yeah. Doesn't Buzz technically like <laughs> no, KK, no, you robot? can't say that here. <laughs> Gracie said to treat his new girlfriend to treat have KK treat his new girlfriend well, and KK said no, it's time to abuse. <laughs> Jesus, KK. It's not only how you get them, but that's how you keep them. Now, here's one thing I want to point out before we rank Bo Peep. We are only ranking them with what we learned from Toy Story 1 and Toy Story 2. We're not doing any future spoilers or future... No future spoilers. We'll uh, rank up and down Bo Peep as the Toy Stories come out. Yep. Um, and I Just also... So regular... I have... I. We, we're not going to worry about the bench this week because there's definitely not going to be any bench this week. But I also have a revisit later section in the in the bench. Like I said, this is going to get messed up several times. I just say this. I hate Bo Peep. Why? Because she's like, oh, Woody, you saved me. My hero. You're my no, I... my soulmate. And then all of a sudden, Buzz comes along and she's like, oh, who's that new guy? Like, She's got her pick of the litter. What do you want? She's one Who female. She has her pick of the litter. She's one female amongst all these men. She gets to choose who she wants to be with. Mrs. Potato Head. She's not in Toy Story 1. Uh, she's not, yeah. Is she the only woman? Oh, uh, no, no, no. There's, uh, you know. Andy's mom. Toy Story. She's the only female. Yeah. But she just kind of her pick of the litter. Yeah, you know, I'm right. You're wrong. Um, now Bo Peep, uh, in Toy Story 1, Third. in Toy Story 1, she does knock Woody around a little bit with her, uh, with her hook. Uh, so she doesn't knock him around. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she he knocks her around. pulls him closer to her. Yeah. Within smooching distance. So we think in... Um, third... She's for oh yeah that's true she is fragile she is I forgot she's made out of porcelain yeah she's a porcelain doll all right I guess three makes sense then they could both just crack her open and I will say this right here 
there's a lot of adult jokes in the early Pixar films, and I'm just assuming in all the Pixar films that I never caught when I watched when I was younger. They're and great. boy, I'm watching them now. What was the penis joke that I was like, oh, I didn't... oh yeah, the from Toy Story one where um he says Buzz is overcompensating for something, or no, he's jealous of what he's jealous of Buzz's girth or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, or like Bo Peep, walk, Bo Peep walks up to Woody and she's like, ask him to hang out. He's like, can't right now. And she's like, well, you can come over later. And then Woody just gets like all shy and like turns away and like, like, oh, Woody, you son of a bitch, you're giving her your Woody. Woody's not used to having another human like creature around. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he is, but you know, Bo Peep's probably been away for a while. All right, so for so we're gonna put her third. I think that's I think that's good for her. I think sh I think she'll do good there. Would you consider Woody and Bo Peep siblings though? Because uh, Bo Peep is technically Andy Andy's sister's toy. No, I see. I would no. I would call. I would consider Woody and Jesse to be siblings, even though they're like not technically siblings, but because they're from the same line. But later, so what? They exchange cotton later, so. Between Woody There's and something. Jesse? Oh, yeah. There's never any romance between Woody and Jesse. It's between Buzz oh, and Jesse. Oh, yeah, there is. There's a ton. <laughs> I think you're watching the wrong Toy Story movies. What, what website did you use to look it up? I used Disney Plus. What website did you use? <laughs> Does it start with a P and end with a B? And rhyme with Lorn Lub. Hang on, I gotta write down Disney Plus in my notebook here. I gotta find. Hang on. Yeah. Yep, you have been watching the wrong Disney movies. Whoops. Did you say, uh, Buzzney or uh, Pizzney? You're Buzzney right now. Buzzney Puss. Yep, that's what I said exactly. Ah, uh, let me write down Disney Plus in my notebook here. I hate it here. All right, while you're doing that, let's get over to the alien. Now, Four. now, now I want to be specific. This is a specific alien. Um, so this is the alien from Toy Story One that gets chosen by Sid and gets chomped up by the uh by the doggy. He survives that shit for at least twenty four hours. Um, so what do I have for notes here? He's squishy and he's a dog toy. That's what I got for notes here. You're still working on that notes. <laughs> Took me a while to write it down. Um, so I'm ranking him fourth. He is quite durable, but also he's pretty useless. I feel like I'd put him above, uh, above Bo Peep. Why? Because Bo Peep is porcelain and he got fucking mauled by a dog. You know, and also, um, I know it was the multiple aliens together, but like, they all were able to like heave Woody and Buzz back into the into the game, so they have a little bit I of strength. That actually, you know, I I really actually think due to the porcelain rubber issue, I think he is above Bo Peep. Now, would that get him above Woody? Because Woody's cloth. And as we find out in Toy Story 2, it's pretty fragile. He had his arm ripped off. Put them up against each other. Like, I don't know. Like, it's a good battle, but I just don't know. You know, I think I think Woody could toss him around, maybe. I think so. Okay. Doesn't Woody, like, fight him at some point? Like, doesn't Woody technically fight? The aliens at one point in the first movie. No, there he's trying to escape the uh the claw with Buzz. Yeah, but he he's trying to escape the claw, but he shows more strength than just one. Yeah, I guess he I guess he pushes one off pretty easily, and then when they multiply, it's when he has difficulty. Yeah, yeah. So like when he's in, because if I remember correctly, when he's in the machine, he's like he's like kind of escaping, but. 
you know, when there's like two or three of them pulling, he can't hold them all. True. And I think we're just judging like one alien at a time. We're not judging them as a like. Well, this is three, this is the trio. specific alien that got taken by by Sid. So yeah. So this is just one alien. Because we'll get to we'll get to the the other. Oh, there is a different alien. I didn't see the different alien. This is the different. alien. The three aliens from Toy Story three that said that say uh, you have saved our lives. We are eternally grateful. So I, you know what? That's I th- a little off the rank, to be honest. Yeah, I think I would go. I think I would go three with him. I think three is a good place for him. I think three. I think the three aliens together might beat him. Oh yeah, we'll get to that in Toy Story two. We'll get there later tonight. You gotta stick around, chat. Oh, hopefully, hopefully we get there later tonight. We're moving pretty slowly here. Um, yeah. Now we got we got rats. Well, and... I mean, do you remember our first like Disney, our first couple Disney streams? It took us a ton of time to no, like get us... through characters, and then no, they took like, us like an hour. Closer to finishing the list, we were like, ah, that one's thirty. Oh yeah, like, that's true. That's true. Once we get the <laughs> once we get the bench in play, it goes by a lot quicker. <laughs> yeah, we're like, ah, that one's bench. Get it out. Which works perfectly because there's a lot more characters in the later Disney movies. Yeah. Um, just like there's a lot of Pixar characters. Each um, Pixar movie has a lot of characters. Now Ham, 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 Ham. He's he's got fast reflexes. Uh, he also can Look, drive a car. This is our first John Rassenberger character, and yeah. uh, I love Ham. Ham is one of my favorite Disney. Picks our characters of all time, um, but I'm sorry, old buddy's probably fourth. You think he beats Bo Peep? He's a toy. He's plastic. Bo Peep's porcelain. Okay. And you think the alien beats him? I, you know what? I could. Yeah. You know what? The alien can crawl inside of him and fucking like break him from the inside out. One of my favorite movies ever from like any Disney movie is when they're in Al's toy store and the new buzz goes in, gets into the Jeep and hams in the back and he goes, what's up slotted pig. Cause he has a, yeah, he has a slot for the coins and I lost it when I watched that the other day. I don't think it's that funny to most people, I, but I just see, I absolutely I like from a similar part where when uh um Mr. Potato's head head is like I'm a married spud I'm a married spud I'm a married spud and Ham goes make way for the single pig. Oh uh, yeah, he's like I'm a married spud I'm a married spud, and then Ham's like make way for the single pig and he gets <laughs> right next to uh tour guide Barbie there. I didn't rank her for Toy Story two because I think um. Because she's a different character from the one from Toy Story 3, so I figured it'd be better to rank the one from Toy Story 3. Yes, Barbie yeah. is going to be an official character on our list. Bad. Uh, then we got Rex here. Old Rexy buddy. Um, I would... Probably... I think it comes down to like between Ham and Rex. That's I'm I thinking. Think Bo Peep. Yeah, I'm thinking I want to put Rex at five. Yeah. Okay. Now I know there's only one here, but we're ranking. Why does he? Um, why does he lose to Ham? Um. In your opinion. Because I th- I think Ham would not hesitate to just like jump Rex, and Rex is a little bit scaredy cat. And... Yeah, I would say Rex is a little bit of a you know scaredy cat. And he's that's got kind of why I had him beating him. He or also losing to him. Rex or uh, Ham will have use of all of his arms and legs like in an attack. Rex can really only bite, and like he's probably got a loose plastic jaw. Rex could barely beat Zerg in the second Toy Story. I mean, oh, he could whip Ham with his his tail though. But I think Ham could also survive that. Mm-hmm. Like Ham's been hit pretty hard, and he's taken some serious blows in the movies, but he's always survived them. Like also, the worst case scenario is he gets the coins knocked out of him. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what? I think I think I like I think I like Rex at five. I I like Rex at five. 
All right, now we got the the little army guy. Now I want to I want to be specific. This is all the army men in the little tin. I only put one here, but this is all the army men. Okay, so this is the entire army. Yes. I don't even know, dude. Like they can so they can use their body to climb. They can they also overpowered Woody. Thing is, it's all of a peb. Uh-huh. Which is like 120. I don't know. Let's see. This is kind of similar to like the Doris character with the um Step on them. <laughs> Hold on. Like remember when Doris could like make a bunch of them so it put her up higher on the list um i think the army men are kind of similar i think they're very tactical uh so there's 24 in a bucket there's not yep i had one of those buckets as a kid they're not in the official toy story collection bucket of soldiers 24 olive green oh wait sorry you know what there's more to it uh there's 124 there's 52. There's 52. There's 24 olive green, 24 tan plastic army guys. Um, uh, a, oh wait. Sorry, there's only 48. There's only 48. Pick a number. Sorry, there's 48. So, they did overpower. Um, they overpowered Woody in the first movie. I remember that. They held him down, right? Yeah, they held him down, and the only reason Woody escaped is because Andy walked in and they all had to, like, separate. I think, like, for now, okay? I think the question we have to ask is, could they beat Buzz? I don't think so. That was actually what I was about to get to, because I think they overpower Buzz, right? Buzz hits that button, wings come out, they get off of him, Buzz just... Buzz does have the wings. Yeah. He could hit the wings, and you know what? Even if they are surrounding him, I think he hits the wings. It tosses at least a couple off of him, and I think he can get, kind of, like, yeah. kind of regain his ground. Yeah. I think I think Buzz would be able to handle I don't think... I think Woody would easily be overpowered. But... Buzz also has um karate action, so if they step in the wrong spot on his back, they will activate his karate action, and he will just karate chop them. But there's also like 56 of them, dude. Like, you put 56 of them on top of Buzz, I think they do beat them. But, okay. And they're, they're, like, they're look, look, but, look, okay. Look, look. Listen, listen. I want you to hear me out real quick. They're this big, and, and Buzz is about this big. Sure. So, but they're also very tactical. They're army men, dude. Buzz is like, like yeah. But Buzz is, like, this big, right? Buzz is also tactical. He's a space ranger. And they're, like, this big. 50 of them are just yeah. gonna... Yeah, I think once he gets, a like, ground... But like here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like, 50... Buzz is tactical, right? He can do flips. Buzz will tricks, also... He will also have like, the... Buzz! He will also His, have the... Uh, he, he also has Put the... Down, but I think at the end of the day... Like, you got 52 of those guys coming at you. I don't know if he can beat them. I think he can, I think he can hold his own. I think he can hold his own, but I don't think he can beat them. It's a very even battle. I think he comes out on top on it. I think he does. I think he's Why? got... Because the, the I think the height advantage... Get in there, AJ. <laughs> uh, I think because he's got the, the height advantage and the fact that he's got... So much to like, he can. He's got the mask, so like his face is protected. They're not gonna break that. Um, they can't, it's plastic, bro. Their go to move is to hold the person down. They can't do that because Buzz is just gonna get him off of them. Um, that's gonna knock a couple of them back, give Buzz some time to get in there. Buzz also has the karate action, he can also can fall with style. That. I can agree with that. He can actually, also, yeah, he can also blind a couple of them. He could blind a couple of them. Yeah, you know, I can agree with what you're saying here, actually. Thank you. I think you're right. Thank you. That's not the character that I wanted to argue with. If we're going to get to that later in Bug's life, I can't wait for that argument. Um, I'm just getting warmed up. 
I had to warm it up. You know, I just can't go in cold to an argument. That's you know? fair. That's fair. Well, we got we got good old Mr. Potato Head here. Mr. Potato Head might be God tier. Really? Mr. Potato Head. I love look, Mr. Potato Head is one of my favorite characters of all time. I will start off by saying that, but he is. I don't see how you're ranking him God tier. Uh, he can remove body parts. Obviously. He survived getting ravaged and, well, by a toddler. No, no, no. Okay, so while you're we're on the topic of removing body parts, right? Mm -hmm. He's also been known to put on the wrong body parts. That's true. He said, call me Mr. Angry Eyes. And then he put on a pup, you know, a couple but imagine of he gets those. <laughs> imagine he gets those right eyes and how angry he'd look. All right, well, he's been proven to not get those right eyes occasionally. Okay. Hear me hear me out on this, right? So, he can remove his limbs. He can also remove his eye and see okay. wherever his eye is removed. So, he's got the tactical advantage. I do like that fact that he can see where, you know, his enemies are potentially coming around corners. One of his but... one of his other moves is that he removes his arm and he holds that arm with his other arm and he can reach far and hit people. He does have like a baseball bat action there. Mm -hmm. Um did you ever have like a Mr. Potato Head as a kid? Yeah, I have a Mr. Potato Head somewhere. I think it's in the in the closet. You still have a Mr. Potato Head, okay. Um so um, I and that's actually what I you, wanted you could have said I just had one as a kid and it saved you a lot of trouble. I wonder so I wonder you well that you still currently have one. I wonder um, I wanted to bring it up because it's a specific Mr. Potato Head and I'm I'm wondering if it would play in here at all. Because this Mr. Potato Head that I have has a lightsaber accessory. <laughs> Do we give Mr. Potato Head a lightsaber accessories, does he? <laughs> nah, he well, he didn't have one in the movie, so it doesn't count. You uh, seem very disappointed with me. No, I knew you had it too. I've seen it. I was, I think I might have been there when you got it. I just turned off. I got it when I still lived with my parents. I didn't want my face to be that. I didn't want my face to shame to be on camera, like. <laughs> So, Mr. Potato, Potato Head number three. Sure, I'm just figuring life out over here. I think he, uh, I think he shreds Woody. I think. You know, he, I kind of think he does too. But I think he would. Um, I think he would get overpowered by the. I don't uh, really think Woody's that strong, to be honest with you. No, he's not. I honestly like. No, I, I'm, I'm fine with him above Ham and the Alien, but um. I do think Mr. Potato Head. I think Ham's a harder matchup than Woody, to be honest. Okay, do we want to put Mr. I... Potato Head four? Or sorry, uh, here's the uh, thing, like... sorry, Ham, Mr. You said Ham, right? Yeah, I think you want to put Ham four. Beating. You're I too think close Ham's to the a little tougher of a fight, but I don't know if Ham beats Woody. I'm coming back on camera. I think Ham... I think Ham beats Woody. I think. Him, like, they all attacked him, and they all, like, what he really can't do much. He's very scrawny. He's more of an action guy. Like, he can do the, like, the hoop and the swinging. Um, Has there been, like, and I know we're not supposed to get, like, above Disney, like, ahead of ourselves with the movies, but has there been a movie where Woody's pistol has worked? No. So Woody's pistol technically doesn't work. So that's no, no, gone. it's Maybe it's I'll... sewn into his thing. Like he doesn't actually have a pistol. He, he so if you look, he just has a holster. He doesn't have a pistol. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Woody's that strong of a character to be honest with you. Like, yeah. I mean, if anything, he's just smart. He's smarter than everyone else. Yeah, I think he could like outsmart the alien Rex and Bo Peep. Yeah, uh, maybe not even outsmart Bo Peep. I think he could just crack Bo Peep. <laughs> um. You know, he, uh... How does that work with toys? He puts his Woody in her. Um... Do they... Do they... Do they... Do they just rub fronts? 
Why do you rub frogs with me? Alright, uh, Slinky Dog. <laughs> Moving on from Ah, uh, You know, that's how it works right there. He, Woody puts a Slinky Dog in her... in her... In her sheep? Woody puts her Slinky Dog in her wolf. Jesus fucking Christ, my guy. But didn't he outsmart mm. Mr. Potato Head and Ham when planning how to save Buzz? I think he did, actually. Um, Slinky Dog... Okay, here's the thing. No, Slinky he didn't. Dog is like, kind of like. Wait, shut up, Mister. Right shut, shut guy, your fucking right? mouth, my guy. Um, you're freeze. You're frozen. You're frozen like that. You look like shit. Um, he didn't have to outsmart Mister Potato Head and Ham because they weren't there. That he just had to. He tried to outsmart them with Buzz's hand at one point, and that didn't work. Here's the thing. I love Slinky Dog. I'm not talking about Slinky Dog right now. I'm talking to chat, you dumb little fuck. <laughs> escape. He's char charismatic as well, and having Sid's toys help him escape. Yeah, but he was very rude to those toys at first. Are you good? Yeah, I accidentally... Um, you keep I was freezing. trying to slide, like... Yeah. I got, like, a video of my camera on my screen. So I was trying to slide to the other side of the screen. And I accidentally turned off the camera, or, like messed up my screen i'm trying to look at like who we're talking about right now all right um but yeah he he didn't have to yeah at first but he made up for it at the end that's true i mean he i do have here that he's a he's a great leader he's a born leader um it's like you dog we're talking about woody right now my guy oh we've been talking about woody for like at least two minutes at this point you said Slinky Dog, and I've been on Slinky Dog trying to figure out why we're not talking about Slinky Dog. I know, and I keep trying to tell you we're on Woody. Um, why are we talking about Woody? Because I'm talking to Wiz. Ah, Wiz, okay. The Wizard of Woody. <laughs> Wiz is like laughing my ass off, Juicy. Where have you been, dude? Where have you been, Juicy? I'm trying to figure out why my phone's gone down 85 percent in the last 10 minutes um but I, I like woody at five i think he's i think he's stronger than these three um but i think he could take on these th I, well, sorry i think he's i think he'd get fucked by these four um anyway slinky i want to put slinky at so slinky right slinky's got the slinky Slink tell me where you want to put him he can extend he can extend he can extend pretty far he he can hold onto the side of a building and stretch his butt down. He also, in Toy Story 2, he jumped from from Andy's roof down to the ground and survived. He literally just grabbed his butt and went, boop! Um, Didn't he stretch from... Correct me if I'm wrong here, too. Um, I will. I'll was it Slinky will. that went from Andy's house to Sid's house in Toy Story 1? Or was that a rope they used? No, that was a rope. So Sl they had Slinky they attached to the rope. rope. Okay. Yeah. Hold on, let me see if I can find a... But Slinky has shown, like, exceptional stretching ability in the movies. Yes, oh yeah. Like, he's shown the ability to, like, th have them lower him down to bring people up. Yeah, and in, um... Like, remember in Toy Story 2 where he was going... They were dropping people off the roof. He was, like, grabbing people, taking them down coming back up so like he's kind of got the strength to brought that up. up that's where i was saying that he grabbed his own feet and fell down okay oh that's what you're talking about yeah um but yeah so he also in toy story 2 at the end of toy story 2 when they're on the baggage thing his leg goes one way and it, it actually is used against him because he can only stretch so far until he has to go to where his butt is because his butt was yeah stuck. yeah he has to go where his body goes um i'm kind of think what are you thinking here because this is a tough one yeah no, I got it actually. Hear me out. His his head goes at like four, but his his body goes at like twelve. No, we're ranking it all the same. I know he can stretch from one to twelve. Um, <laughs> I would I would put him. Do you think he could be him and? 
Mr. Potato Head? I think he I I think he could definitely beat him. I think he could beat Woody. I think a hundred percent. I think he can beat Woody. I'm pretty sure he could beat him. Mr. Potato Head's a wild card because like he could like you he's... never know what he's gonna pull out because like he could pull out some like kind of hand with like a with a gun on it or no. like some hand with a mace and go. We're, we're just gonna go from what we've seen in the movies. Like even if he just pulls his hand off, like. It seems like Slinky's go-to move would most likely be to wrap around the person because in Toy Story 2, he wrapped around Jesse and um, Bullseye to, yeah. to restrain them. So I'm assuming that's what he would do. When they charge, uh, You're frozen, the, my guy. Uh, apartment there. You're frozen, my guy. Why am I freezing? Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay. Let me reach the Discord. Oh, I love this guy. This guy... It's always good to have him here. How's everyone doing tonight? You know what? While he's here, I'm just gonna I'm gonna make the executive de- decision that Slinky's going for. He doesn't get a say in it. Cause I think Mr. Potato Head could break out of that. I think, uh, Mr. Potato Head just. I think Mr. Potato Head's arm could probably even like bend his Slinky and really destroy him. So yeah, so I hope Juicy gets back soon so we can start Bugs Life. Took us took us all 45 minutes to get through Toy Story 1. <laughs> oh, what a guy. Shows up drunk, can't even have working equipment. I wonder if he's actually planning on coming back. I can't tell if he's planning on coming back or not. Um, I guess I'll just give my opinions on Bugs Life 2 then. So let's let's take a look at Bugs Life. Um, so I I think I think easily I'd put Bugs Life under Toy Story. Like Bugs Life is you could tell they were trying to experiment with what they wanted Pixar movies to be like around this time because neither Toy Story or Bugs Life are all that sad. But once you get into Toy Story 2 and Monsters Inc., they start they start cranking up that feelings. Um, but I think Bugs Life doesn't have anything that I think stands out to make it a, uh, overall, like, it's better than Toy Story. I think it's definitely going to be below Toy Story. Hello, my guy. Hello? Hello? Hang on. Holding on. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Hang on. Uh, you already told me. To... Why? Why are you gone? You're back now, y'all. One. How about on. now? Yes, I can hear. You. I could hear you before. Keep talking. Okay. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Cool. You gonna get on camera? Yep. One moment. You are a mess, my guy. Look at you. Oh, gone too soon from this world. I'm ready. Okay, cool. I put Bugs Life under Toy Story while you were gone. Do you rank anyone while I was gone? Uh, Yeah, I made the executive decision on Slinky Dog. Who was it? Or great co-host laughing my fucking ass off, right, Wiz? Why are you so close to the fucking camera? My eyes haven't been good lately. You should go to the eye doctor. Ever since I broke my glasses, to be honest. Yeah, that'll happen. I I I'm really on the impression that these glasses didn't get the prescription lenses put in them, and then the other ones did. So. Or you're just drunk and the whole world is blurry to you right now. No, I haven't been able to see for like three days with these glasses on. So I want to admit to you something about the Bugs Life characters. Ah, I'd love to hear it. I accidentally forgot to save my list of notes for Bugs Life. It, um, I shut my computer down without saving. That's great because I actually watched Bugs Life like two days ago. I'm glad you did. Do you remember? Do you remember the Black Widow's name? <laughs> I think it's Rosie, right? It's Rosie. It's Cecilia. 
It's not Cecilia. Cecilia is the uh, monster no, from Monsters, Inc. Oh, yeah, Googly Bear. Or Celia. Is it Cecilia? Oh, God. Um, but the Black Widow is just a Black Widow. I, I believe her name was... Uh... I'm pretty sure it's Rosie. Yeah. Um, might have been. Uh huh. What's her name? Um, Black Widow. Um, right here, dude. Um, it's, it's Rosie. I know I'm right, my guy. Are you okay? Let me. I'll double check. Rosie. Rosie. I'm pretty sure it is. Let me double check now. Now I'm questioning my sanity. Uh. Yeah, it is Rosie. I was right. Cool. Okay. I was gonna go with Roseanne. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> um, I really like this is hard because these are toys, not humans, against a bug. That is a similar size to them. Here's the thing, like the only thing she has is she can wrap them up in webs, but I think Buzz escapes that at least. I think you know. I think up until I might put her four. Her name's not Rosie. It is Rosie. I just it's looked... Scarlett Johansson. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. Um, no, but like I know she's a bug and they're toys, but I don't think a bug has. Too much impact on a toy. I think I either want to put her four or five. I'm kind of thinking, honestly, nine. No, because she can she can wrap up and basically just like, like she could tear apart Woody. She could tear apart the. I don't think she tears apart Woody. Um, I I you know I do think she kind of gets one alien. I think she might get Rex because Rex is kind of like I love Rex, but he's like not strong. All she needs to do is uh, all she needs to do is wrap up Woody and then grab his arm. He's lost an arm. Grab his other arm. He lo he could she could literally just tear it like take his threads out. So how do you think Ham beats her then? I don't know if he does. That's why I'm thinking maybe she goes five. I'm trying to think, like, what a fight between him and her would be like. Maybe Ham could, like, if anything, Ham could, like, jump from a high spot and maybe squish her. Jesus, I hate this angle. I'm trying to figure out who you have a five, because I miss that. Or what? four. Four is Slinky. Ah, Slinky Dog. I think Slinky Dog could definitely beat her. Yeah, I think um, with, like, Slinky and Up, I think they can get out of the tightness. Like, they could get out of her, her web. With Ham down, I don't know if they could. I'm thinking five. I am thinking five, actually. Yeah, you know what? I think you're right. I didn't. I didn't agree with that at first, but you've convinced me handsomely. Thank you. Now here's here's the one I think we're gonna fight about, my guy. Flick, 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 flick. Little old flick. First of all, before you make your case, what do you? What side do you think I'm going with on flick? I don't know what's. I don't know where you want to put Flick. I just know it's not where I want to put Flick. Where do you want to put Flick? I want to put Flick number one. Why? You're fucking stupid. Why? So Flick, my guy. My guy my Flick. Guy. My guy He's Flick. My guy Flick, right? He's a he stood up. Is he though? Look at the things he invented. Yeah. Shut your fucking mouth. You do not yes, talk about my boy Flick like You're that. You're wrong. Here's he why I'm, Here's why I'm right. Here's why I'm right. He invented a saw from rocks, gla grass, and leaves. Oh my god, he's creative. That doesn't mean he's fucking the best on the map. The map, dude. Like sorry. In the brawl, cuz we're going to use wrong. we're going to use the same kind of arena that we use for the Disney characters. There's grass, there's leaves, there's rocks. He's oh tiny. So They're not going like, to shut your fucking mouth. It is my turn to speak. Shut your fucking mouth. You're saying that they, he's not going to make Oh, look at I made a little green bean shredder here. And Buzz Lightyear's not going to go, 
Step on you, you're dead ant. You're saying that's not gonna happen? Okay, maybe two. Maybe I'll put in two. Okay, yeah, I'm good with that. Okay. <laughs> I just think I just think that this so, so intense for one position's worth of argument. I just think that this ant could build like a fucking mech suit out of grass and rocks and leaves and just like Paul run dude I'm not sure what you said, but I think it was an ant man joke. It was. I said he ain't Paul Rudd. He basically is. I mean not really. I mean look. Yes, his inventions are impressive, but but without a couple couple lucky breaks, okay, very lucky breaks. His ant colony is dead. Hopper crushes them. They're dead. Oh, so, like yes, he is very smart, but I also think. That he's not that smart. Like, I. Let's keep in mind. Okay, no, no, no. Before you play some three. Before you play some three, okay? Let's think keep about, in mind. Think about what he can do to Mr. Potato Head. He could get inside okay. Mr. Potato Head. But, let's keep in mind, okay? Lick is dead. If the ant army does not charge at the end of Bugs Life, Flick is dead. Like, Hopper's squishing him. It's over. He doesn't get to make lots of beautiful babies with Princess Anna. Um, right, but that was after he he attacked Hopper with a fucking bird, my guy, that he designed. <laughs> a mech bird that only bird went wrong because P.T. Flea if said it on shut your... <laughs> you shut your fucking mouth. If the bird was that... Good. He should have made a, you know, a fireproof bird. Who said Fire he could? Who said, said Flick could? Who said Flick could eat Mr. Potato Head out? Who said that? Wiz. Ants in real life do love potatoes. <laughs> I didn't think that's what you were gonna say. Ants love potatoes, my guy. I thought you were gonna say ants love eating each other out. Oh, they love that too. They love that. Okay. Okay, you drunk asshole. Where do you want to put Flick? Eleven. By himself, I don't think anyone else won't be able to beat him. At the no. very least, nine. No, I'm putting him seven, my guy. I, I no. Think, I think he. I think he saws Woody in half. Why? With his buzz saw that he invents Woody, with you know, grass. One night he goes over there with his little ant jaws, like. You're not like hearing that. me. He builds a goddamn mech suit, my guy. From grass, he built a saw. Out of grass and rocks. He buzzsaws Woody, shreds his threads, and takes seven. Flick's also incredibly dumb. Like, he almost killed his entire fucking colony. He's not dumb. He's just he misunderstood. Dumb, he, is. he is misunderstood. He's a smart dumb. I think he beats Woody. I'll give you seven, but I'm not happy about it. Good. I don't. I don't want you to be happy. Just wait till you know Pika and Equal get in here, and we discuss this next week in uh, the you know the rebounds round. Round. I've decided there's none. Because I don't want. Wait till I uh, you know tweet. Someone from Disney Pixar about who's stronger, Woody or Flick, and uh, they so we, respond. So we don't even have to talk about Heimlich, right? Heimlich's number one. 
Yeah, obviously. Okay. Han, Han looks an absolute unit. I feel like I put. I'd honestly like. I think I put Han like twelve. Han looks why? Han looks so fucking useless. But he talks like his German, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll make that joke later. Um. Uh, he knows where to look. She just. Um. Yeah, I think. I honestly think like they just they could just squish Heimlich. Heimlich would just be sitting lazily. I love Heimlich, but yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Heimlich's one of my favorite Pixar characters, but yeah, he, you're right. Yeah, like. Now I guess the question is: Is Dot worse than Heimlich, or better than Heimlich? I think Heimlich could beat Dot. Yeah. Yeah, he could honestly just sit on her and squish her. He's like, oh my god. That below me. <laughs> I didn't feel her there. It's a little land. All right. Well, from your argument, I automatically want to put Hopper a seven or above. I think Hopper could destroy Flick by himself. Okay. I don't think he would lose to Woody. Win to Woody, though. I think Woody would beat him. I think he'd win to Woody. I think he would be able to, again, just that's take... Like, that's like the thing. I don't think a bug can beat Woody. Like, a single bug. That's Woody's got Woody such up. shit threads, my guy. Thank you for the follow, Michael's home. Hello, how are you today? That was so intense. <laughs> <laughs> that was it's a real... like you were ready to just come at me you're like... Thank you for the follow, Michael. I was getting ready to fucking fight you, and then I had to I had to uh, welcome my new follower. Michael protected me. <laughs> Michael just <laughs> saved your life. I hope you have a good night, Michael. Welcome to the Slab Squad. Welcome to the Juicy Squad, Michael. Don't call it that. Thank you. The Juicy Snack Squad. I see you on TikTok. Well, I'm glad you came from TikTok. I'm... I was hoping that people would come from the uh, the review videos, so I'm glad to, I'm glad to, it worked. <laughs> well, we're talking about uh, we're ranking our Disney characters that we watched this week. So if you watch those videos, uh, this is this is what comes from that. <laughs> I usually out stream during these videos, but uh, it's recently been decided as of uh, you know an you hour and a half ago that I would be. It actually was decided like three weeks ago, and you just decided to ignore yeah, what I, I said. Yeah, I forget that part, so it was as of an hour and a half ago. So as I was about to yell at you two seconds ago, no, um, he would just rip Woody's threads. Woody's got these tiny little threads. They come apart. His arm comes off. He just takes out the stuffing, unstuffs Woody, leaves him like the little rag that he is. What is Woody hey, I'm hearing from you? Like... Why don't you think Woody couldn't just do the same to Hopper? He's a grasshopper. He had a couple of pill bugs pull off his antenna and go, eh, like that. And, like, that was easy peasy lemon squeezy, bro. I'm thinking seven. Um, That was the one no. I saw eight no, hours ago and said you're nine. Wrong. You're wrong. Well, good. I'm, going I'm glad he came by. Going below. He is going I hope you enjoyed this argument because uh, I'm not even listening to what he's saying anymore because I'm automatically going to put him seven. I'm oh, sorry, were you saying something? Oh, I was yeah, talking to my I chat. Say, oh, yeah, I like to rank characters incorrectly and not even listen to anyone who's helping me rank these characters. Well, nobody because helpful is here this week. Very automatically invalid, and I just judge them based on what I think is correct. I mean, that's what oh, the, sorry, you're just... You you're just you're just here to try to influence my decision, but it's my decision. Yeah, but you're wrong, so... Yeah. Like, well, I'm allowed I, to be I'll wrong, it's my stream. The straw. Well, you're just wrong. Like it's it's possible to be wrong. My Michael liked the straw on your face. I was a big fan of it as well. I just don't get how you put Hopper at seven. Give me a reason why he beats Woody. Like besides what you've said, because what you said. <laughs> Give valid. me a reason besides the valid reason you've already provided. It's not valid. It's not even close to valid, dude. Okay, he chews through the cloth. And goes okay. inside Woody and rips him from the inside out. How is Woody? How is he even catching up to Woody? 
You think Woody can't counter him in some way before? You think Woody's just laying there like, oh my god, do my arm? Yeah, he wants the bug to think he's a toy. There's a snake in my boot, so I can't move. No, what? Woody's not doing that, bro. He's not. He's fighting back, and he's ripping Hopper's legs and then tennis. Woody doesn't have any muscle, my guy. You're torn the wings off a grasshopper. It's super easy, dude. Not when you're this big. Yeah, and your Woody's hands are a lot taller. Than your this, hands are this big, dude. You, his, you ain't giving him much credit. He's this big. His hands Hopper's are this this big. Woody's got like a hundred and eighty-seven percent height on Hopper. So where are we putting the ladybug? Where are we putting Hopper? Cause Seven. It's not above Woody. It is above Woody. It's not above Woody, dude. I've given you two solid arguments of how. He beats yeah, Woody. Yeah, they're both invalid. You're wrong. So you think, you think, okay, you use your argument against you. You think Hopper's just standing there like, take my little wingsies. How do you think Woody catches up to him? A grasshopper is way faster than a toy. Okay. Sure. A gra- <laughs> I will give you that. A grasshopper is way faster than Woody. But I don't think Woody's just necessarily laying down and taking it. Woody's also got like a hundred and sure. Even if he's not inches on him, Woody's like three feet tall, bro. He's not three feet tall. Okay, hold on. Okay, well he's like a foot and a half tall. But a grasshopper's also like an inch tall, dude. <laughs> Michael like, Michael says this is the best argument he's ever seen. I bet you never thought you'd see someone argue who's better, Hopper or Woody. <laughs> How tall is Woody the cowboy? Let me specify cowboy. <laughs> Woody is thirteen inches tall. Fifty. 15 inches tall. I was close. Okay, how tall is Hopper? You're trying to tell me he was a centimeter tall. Stupid idiot. Hopper is 6 feet and 5 inches tall. What? No, he's... <laughs> Sorry, what? when I searched that, uh, Tom Hopper came up. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I need to rewatch Bugs Life. They're actually uh, post-apocalyptic bugs that are giant. No shit. Uh, I was like, if Hopper's six foot five, he's winning the whole thing. Like, give him the crown right now. Michael, you think who is biased, me or Juicy? Like, we'll click up the list because Flick's definitely like four eight. If Hopper's six five. Not a cricket bat. A cricket. A cricket uh, can range to about two inches. Okay, you might be okay. You might be swayed me there a little bit. No shit. I still think Flick beats Woody. I don't do. Fine. Okay. You know what? (laughs) Have it. Have it your way. Okay, Mr. Burger King. I think that's right. Look, dude. Flick is like so small. All Woody has to legitimately do is like either like get him on the stinger and go. Me and the came here. Uh, Actually, you know what? No, no. Actually, the height helps my argument. I think I think the cricket flies in. Woody's not gonna like Woody's like ooh, and the cricket just rips into Woody and rips him from the inside out. Have you ever been detained or taken down? Woody is made of fucking cloth, my guy. Yeah, so therefore he has no allergies to anything, including grasshoppers. I'm not saying he has an allergy. I'm saying he rips open the cloth and goes inside and climbs out. So if he's made of cloth, he's still fine, dude. He's ripping him into pieces, my guy. Sure, but he's made of cloth, so he's no vital organ, so he's still walking, my guy. Okay, your dumb he argument, off his you're arm over. And showed no pain. I've decided I'm still right. You're, you're wrong! <laughs> Alright, uh, so the ladybug. No! Michael, Michael is with me. He's saying he, uh, no! he's got no muscle. He's got no muscle. Woody has no muscle. It's all cloth. I agree. All right, I, I agree. Woody has no muscle. Woody has no muscle. All right. But his arm got ripped off and he carried on like it was normal. 
Right, but I'm saying his whole body gets ripped off. He's just a head there. What is he going to do with just his head? How is his whole body getting ripped off? Because the fucker is going inside the body and ripping the body apart. That's not even worse. <laughs> I thought we'd argue a lot more about Flick before we argued about Warrior Fun fucking Hopper. <laughs> I like this. I think this is because because the thing is. He's just taking the even if he's not ripping the cloth, he's taking the stuffing out. If he takes the stuffing out, Woody's just still just lifeless. What are you doing, bro? Just laying there and be like, oh, there goes another piece of my stuff. So I'm thinking the ladybug would probably go like... Shut the fuck up! We're not on the ladybug! I think the ladybug is gonna go 10. <laughs> are you guys going to even finish ranking the rest of these characters tonight? Probably Let's... not. We got, 50... <laughs> we got 50 minutes, so we might go a little late. <laughs> um... I can't imagine I won't call him tomorrow and continue this argument. Yeah, I'm thinking the ladybug goes 10. Fine. Okay. Stick. We're making a fake list anyway. Wow. A fir first week, you're already calling it a fake list. It was at least week five until you called Disney a fake list. Yeah, I need to, like, get my hat again because I'm, you know, without a hat. Do you want to get your hat? I would. God, I hate you. Ah, <sighs> this guy. While you're gone, I'm gonna rank the stick without you. I think I'm putting the stick uh, above Heimlich, but I think I think Bo Peep could just like crack him like a twig. God, you know who I think it is. Fuck, I think we're gonna get another argument here. How do you feel about tuck and roll? I think they're low key OP. They they have uh put the stick number one as a joke. <laughs> I'm not trying to I'm not looking for this kid to drive to my house and kill me right now. Uh I'm thinking I'm thinking uh two. Uh, two. Uh no. great. Where's your argument about Woody could... Well, Alright, let's see. Why does Woody beat them and not fucking Flick in your... Or, uh... Hopper in your mind? They're smaller than Hopper. Well, I see you put, uh... Woody above a Hopper, so... Like, they gotta be... Woody because they beat Hopper. So... My argument isn't valid at this point because that argument's already been had. And, uh... You know, you, you came out on top there, so... But you said because you said he beats the number two, okay? So if well, how does he beat Hopper? They beat him in the movie. Put this stick number. Put Mike Wazowski forgot your homework lady at number two. I think she's gonna go number one. She's a she's a secret agent. <laughs> no one knew she was number one. Got that number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we're about Everyone to get down. Victory, Royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we're about to get down. Get right. down! Um, they're above Hopper. I don't I think Hopper could just step on them. Pick them up and go... They rip off his antenna in the movie. Oh, they do do that, huh? Yes. They're low-key sneaky. Like, no one ever expects them, but they kind of, like, are there, you know? Because they're kind of... I th you know stupid. what? With that, like they're also I feel like I can make an argument for number three. Like they can just climb into. That's what I said. I said put them at three. Okay. Climb into Mr. Like Potato Head. Okay, shut your fucking mouth. I wasn't listening. <laughs> all right, all right. And then we got my boy John Ratzenberger, number two. Oh, John Ratzenberger. Um, this is the flea, right? <sighs> yeah, he did um... burn down that bird. <laughs> Fake bird. He was. He was quick um, on his feet with that match. <laughs> it's a tough one. I honestly, I'm putting him 18. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe he could beat Dot. Maybe Heimlich too. I don't know, dude. Like, I really don't. 
because he's fast. Like, he's very fast. He is fast. I I'm like a slow, so maybe yeah. I think he beats Heimlich. Okay. I ain't getting on too much after that. All right, perfect. I like this list. I wish Flick was a little higher, but I'm okay with this list. Uh, All right. Well, let's get to the third movie. I can't wait till Flick is off this list. <laughs> I, I hope he stays on the list. We're at Toy Story 2? Toy Story 2. I? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I wasn't here for the ranking of between Bugs Life and Toy Story. No, this is when you dropped off. I said I picked Toy Story. Yeah, St sure. Uh, Bugs Life is better. Nah. I already explained Absolutely. my I already explained my reasoning. Why? What? I think I just killed you. I can't believe I went to New York with you. You're a psychopath. How you don't think Toy Story 2 is better than Toy Story 1? Absolutely not. I think it's I I don't want to say. I don't want to say why I think it's Toy better. Story Two is Toy Story Two is more of an adventure than Toy Story One. The Toy Story Two has a lot Toy better Story action Two. scenes. Toy the Story. The only good thing about Toy Story Two is Bullseye. No, I think Buzz Lightyear is a lot better in Toy Story Two. Toy Story Two has my favorite depiction of Buzz Lightyear from all four movies. Some good characters in Toy Story 2. I will I will give you that. Buzz Lightyear is a lot better in Toy Story 2 than he is in Toy Story 1. Mm -hmm. But And I think Jesse is great. I think the Prospector is a way better villain than Woody. <laughs> um Woody is technically the... Toy Story 1 didn't have really a villain, so I yeah. will give you I will give you that, but overall I liked the animation liked was Toy better. Story 1. You are such an animation sob. If you Bring in animation in any of these movies from here on out. I will drive to your house and smack the shit. Well, up. Pixar is all about being an animation I'm snob, my guy. The animation is better. Like the movie from nineteen ninety five had more animation than the movie from nineteen ninety nine. Like uh, I don't want to hear it. Of course, it. Look, if you watch a movie fifty years from now, yeah, the animation is gonna be fucking better because it's fifty years from now, bro. So where are we putting Zerg? Like seventeen. Um, well, Zerg, okay, let's, let's remember the thing about Zerg, right? Uh, let me get, he's got those balls. He's got nuts. He's got the, the pop-up balls. Let's not forget, he's very fertile. Buzz is his father. He also has a computer vision kind of thing. Like, he's, he's got red vision. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, um, hear me out here, okay? I think he could beat Buzz. Like, no, 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 and here's my reasoning. Buzz absolutely crumbles as a character. Like, the, like the, the Toy Store Buzz, it, he crumbles that, as a character when he finds out Zerg is his father. Right, that's Toy Store Buzz, though. Yeah. I don't know if he can, I don't think he can necessarily beat regular Buzz. But I like, don't think that would affect regular Buzz. Yeah. We're but, ranking regular I, Buzz. We're ranking against regular buzz. I don't think he can. Um, as far as regular characters go, I don't know what Zerg really has. Zerg has the blaster, so he has the blaster with the balls that come out. I think that's his big strength. Um, I don't think he can really do too much with that though. Um, it takes them out a little bit. Um, when they're on the elevator, it's blasting them all around. Uh, it's more annoying than anything, I think. Yeah. Um, 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 I think it may be six. No, I don't think that high. What are they, a red sponge ball? No, it was, um, it was yellow plastic balls. It's like a yellow ping pong ball almost. Yeah, um, they're ping pong balls. I think a ping pong ball would take out a black widow. 
I mean, I think you're kind of right. I think it would, like, I think he's pretty effective against the bugs. I, I think, well, first of all, I think you're kind of giving the bugs a lot of credit, but I think he... Well, I already affected that I think, argument I think, already? I think, yeah, but I think the Black Widow wraps him up, and he can't do too much. He could rip out with his horns, maybe. Oops, that's the wrong. What do you think? Are you putting him at seven? Seven. I think, I mean, you know, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think he beats, he can't beat, I think the Black Widow, like, Scarlet, Scarjo there. But as she's Wrap rushing him, him, I mean, he could hit her with the ball fast enough. That's why I don't think he gets too much higher. I think it's whoever hits him first. Like, I think it's pretty even. Okay, so we'll keep her above. Like, you wouldn't make me mad if you put him at above her, but you also wouldn't make me mad if you put him below her. I just like Scarlett Johansson better than Zerg. I think I'm kind of leaning towards him going above her. I think it just... I feel that um, just the fact that the speed that his balls come out. Um, I think maybe it wouldn't squish her, but they'd at least knock her down yeah. and he'd get a. <laughs> and he'd get a good shot at her <laughs> before before she squirts her web at him. <laughs> oh, she's squirting now. Bro. <laughs> uh, are his balls coming out so fast because she squirts his or her web at him? <laughs> Wish this is a squirt. <laughs> I think we took took Juicy out. <laughs> Alright, so my girl Jessie. The squirter. So my girl Jessie. Uh, yes, yes. Woody's girlfriend. Sure. No, Woody's sister. Buzz's girlfriend. I don't like that at all. Um, well, they look like they might be from Alabama. That's why it's his girlfriend. Um, I think Jesse definitely beats Woody. Why? Uh, she likes the cowgirl. <laughs> That's what was just said. Um, so in this, there's a scene in Toy Story. What? He's not wrong. He's not wrong. There's a scene in Toy Story 2 where they get in a tussle, right? And sure. and Jesse's able to, like, restrain him. I think you're right. Yeah. I think Jesse has, like, statistically beat Woody in the past. Like, kind of like if they when they do argue or fight. I, I'm not putting Jesse anywhere above 11. Well, I think she does beat Woody. I like Michael. Michael can stay. What did Michael say? <laughs> Michael said she likes Woody's rock hard wood. Why do I get in trouble when I say these things? Because I don't like you. I like Michael. Michael can stay. <laughs> Michael, I'm going to start tweeting you stuff to say during these streams because you don't get in trouble for saying stuff that I get in trouble for saying. He'll, I can tell if it's from coming from you, though, so he'll still get, he'll, you'll get in trouble if he's saying things You're that I think are coming from you. Juicy night in your chat. <laughs> juicy night. I don't like that either. You need a better name for your people. You also need a computer so you can start streaming and have people. I'll tell you the real name for my people afterwards. 
All right. So uh, now we're going to go with the three aliens. I think they're automatically above the one alien. Just throwing that out there. Um, I think maybe they could probably overpower the ladybug. Now the question is, can they overpower Woody or Jesse? I don't think so. Okay. I'm really putting a bat. They're also... Uh... I'm a little confused why you didn't just combine them all, but like I kind of get it. No, because they're different characters. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Did I fuck something up here? I'm so confused. With what Everything. I did. Where where are you? You you should be at eighteen. Seventeen. Uh I don't know what I did here. What are you trying to do? Not be stupid. You're doing a really bad job on that boy. You're right. Okay. Fifteen. Fourteen. What's the difference between the single alien and the tri alien and the two Buzz Lightyears. Okay, so the single alien is from Toy Story 1. Uh, that's the alien that was ravaged by a dog. Uh, ravaged. <laughs> where's the lie, bro? The three aliens were in the second one and they become like kind of friends and part and, of Andy's toys. And they're the main characters. They show up in Toy Story 3 and Toy Story 4, I think they're in 2. Um, but they're the I ones who get. I think they're in all the Toy Stars from here on out. Yeah, they're the ones that get adopted by Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head and go. You have, uh, you have yes, saved our lives. Yeah, so the single alien is the one that gets, um, gets taken by the claw with Woody and Buzz and gets taken to Sid's house and Sid just feeds it to a dog. Um, Turns out that was actually supposed to be, I think, Woody get fed to a dog, but. It could have been Buzz as well, but he just reached into his backpack and grabbed whatever he grabbed first. And no, I think he, I think he wanted the rubber dog. I think he wanted the dog to be, or sorry, I think he wanted no, the no, alien to be the dog. He, he doesn't know, dude. He reaches into his backpack and grabs whatever he grabs, and it happens to be the alien. Okay. It's a little bit of a lazy moment by the writers, but. And then uh, the difference between the two Buzz Light years is one is the uh, the one that's ranked up here, is uh is regular classic Buzz Lightyear. This is the Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story 2 uh, that thinks he's actually a Buzz Lightyear. Um, and... You actually got a character below... Where the oh. hell is your 20, dude? Yeah, that's just the... You don't have a 20. It's, there you go. it's just a thing, my guy. Can you make it smaller so all the numbers fit on the same thing? Happy? <laughs> or is that... Yes. And now it's smaller for you. And it's smaller for the audience. Well, zoom in now. That's so much worse. <laughs> Your look of astounding was... <laughs> Happy, my guy. All right, let's just go with regular Buzz Lightyear here. You know what? Hold on. The Buzz Lightyear you guys got for Christmas here. This ain't... The picks are Buzz Light. I fixed it, my guy. Just can't please the juice. <laughs> the juice is hard to please. Um. Yeah. So this Buzz Guys. Light, this Buzz Light here, I think, is going to be ranked up pretty high. Why? Because Buzz Light is ranked pretty high. They're they're the same. They have the same skill set. One now, is dumb as shit, though. One is dumb as shit, but. That Buzz Lightyear did overpower the other Buzz Lightyear and contain him in the spaceship capsule. All right. Well, here's the thing. Okay? And hear me out on this. Star Command told the other Buzz Lightyear. Star Command doesn't exist, my guy. Talk to them daily. Uh, no, you don't. And if you do, so, then Star Command's I mean, dumb as like, shit. Look, look, look. Andy's Buzz Lightyear was like, oh, what the fuck is this guy doing? Like, this guy's a fucking clown over here. And the the, the helmet buzz like, was like, look at this guy. He's a clown too. So they fought. And Andy's buzz like, wasn't taken seriously because he's like, this guy's a clown. And then that's how it happened. And that's why he lost. 
You talked, and while you were talking, I made my decision. Um, I think he's gonna go seven. All right, I'm good with that. Actually, yeah, yeah I think it's good. Um, mainly because of what you brought up before, where he just kind of crumbled underneath Zerg. <laughs> he did. Zerg was like, "I am your daddy," and he's like, "I wanted someone to call daddy." And I think both. And... And everyone here knows that they could just pull up the hood and uh and buzz would sure. just freak the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think Woody knows that too. But no, you want Woody to just like crumble under nothingness. I don't know what your Woody love is here. You love wood. I love wood. You love yourself a good Woody. Good wood. I'm still dying. <laughs> Alright. Um, next we got the Prospector. Prospector here. I'm thinking probably going to be ranked very similar to... I think maybe I'd put him 13. Again, he re he's got the pickaxe. Let's let's remember that. He's got a pickaxe. He really beat Woody. Yeah, like... he ripped Woody's arm. Yeah, but I, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like, I don't think he's as agile as Woody. I think Woody. Where knows is this that agile part. Woody narrative coming from? Have you not seen any of the movies, bro? Yeah, he moves like this because he's so weak and limply. Speedy dude. He runs like this. Like. And then he's like, Woody's pretty fast, dude. He's pretty fast. He can fight a little bit. He fights Buzz at one point, wins almost under a tire. He rescues people and shit. But, like, I mean, bottom line, I think if Woody knows it's coming next time. I don't think Prospector beats him. I think the aliens ravage him. I think he takes on that ladybug. We're arguing about the same exact thing here. Because you agree I agree. I just agree. I agreed with you. Why are you mad at me for agreeing with you? Because you were arguing with me. Yeah, I was arguing with you, and then I agreed with you, and I said I decided the aliens could also be him, and you got mad at me. I'm not mad at you. You're agreeing with me. Why would I possibly be <laughs> mad at you? What are we yelling about? <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. I hate it here. <laughs> There's no pleasing you. All right, my guy Bullseye. Where are you ranking him? There's one correct answer here. I don't think I got it, but I think I know where I want to put him. I think I want to put him at 16. You froze. You are frozen. You are very frozen. You guys are like an old married couple. Yeah, we've known each other too long, I think. He's frozen. I like this. You can't argue with me. I'm putting him at 16. Look at that. I went again by default. Get better technology there, Juicy. I bet his phone died and he didn't realize his phone died. That seems like something Juicy would do. I wonder if he even knows that he's he's frozen or if he's just... Uh, he's probably still going on about why he thinks that uh, I'm wrong. What did I say? I said... I said 16. I think when he is unfrozen, his game is going to be in shock. His face. Very similar to the odd couple. Yeah, that's, you know what? We've heard that before. I also, when we get to Monsters, Inc., I'll talk about it more, but people think we're like, uh, we're like Mike and Sully a lot. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to put him at 16. All right, and then we got Mrs. Potato Head, who's very. I'm not. I'm not even gonna let Jake have a choice on Mrs. Potato Head. Um, she's very similar to Mr. Potato Head. She's got that that god eye again. Um, she can remove her limbs. She can. I feel like she'd probably be able to bring out a Slinky's grasp as well. Definitely use her little fingers to tear Woody apart. I'm going to put her five. I think five's good for her. Oh, 
Bye, Juicy. I can't wait for him to come back and see that I've done rankings without him. He's going to be so angry. Let me text him. Let me see what happened here. Uh, let's see. Who's next? I keep clicking on the wrong screen. Oh, we're on Monsters, Inc. So I'll rank the Monsters, Inc. Uh, movie. This is a hard one. I'm a big Monsters, Inc. guy. I think I like it maybe more than Toy Story 1. But maybe not as much as Toy Story 2. I, maybe I like Toy Story... <laughs> It's hard because I love Toy Story and I love Monsters Inc. They're they're two of my favorite uh uh franchises. I kind of wish I had Juicy here to help me make this decision, actually. <laughs> uh though I think he'd probably put Monsters Inc. under Bug's Life because for some reason he's obsessed with Bug's Life. Um But I think I'm gonna go Monsters Inc. too. I like that. I like that there. That sits well with me. Uh, all right. So up first for Monsters, Inc., we got Mike Wazowski. I don't know. Uh, uh, let's see. Mike was. Oh, I have notes on these guys. I should take my notes out. It'll probably be more helpful for me. Oops. All right, Mike. Oh yeah, Mike has a very high pain tolerance. That's right. He like he hits his crotch for comedy. He uh he gets squished like multiple times. Oh, he sprayed for breeze directly into his eye at one point. He had his hand slammed in the office. Gets bitten by a, a monster child. And has Sully fall on him a bunch. Oh, did I not move these characters down? Silly goof. Uh, but also Mike Wazowski is way bigger than all these characters. You know, I'm putting Mike Wazowski at number one, I think. Like, he's just picking up Buzz Lightyear and tossing him, right? Like, there's really probably not... Oh, well, my, you know what? Buzz Lightyear could probably jump into his eyeball. Oh, have you guys seen Suicide Squad? He could probably do the Starro Suicide Squad move and, like, what Harley Quinn did and just go in with, like, his wings. <laughs> All right. That has convinced me to put Mike Wazowski at number two. I have convinced myself of Mike Wazowski at two. Now I'm just picturing Mike Wazowski's eye bleeding out like uh, Starro's eye. Ugh, this is what I hate about doing this, though, is that they always get messed up because I suck at making sure they're all lined up. 20. Man, I feel like I've definitely lost Juicy for good. <laughs> good, I can I can speed this up. Uh, Mike Wazowski, number two. He's definitely going to like try to fight me next week and say, I'm going to rebuttal this. I'm going to rebuttal that. I'm going to rebuttal this and that. And this and that. All the rebuttals. All right. Mike or uh, Sully is going to go, I think, easily number one. Like, obviously, he can fight Mike Wazowski. Like, just... <sighs> Not no contest. He picks Mike Wazowski up several times in both movies. No feature spoilers, but definitely he did it in number one. Um, and then like Buzz Lightyear, he could do that move on Mike, but there's not really much I think he could do against uh, against Old Sully. Man, these Toy Story characters and Bugs Life characters are dropping down.
Yo, I hope Juicy's sitting somewhere like, he's ranking these characters without me. I'm not going to make my dumb choices anymore. Oh, Boo's going to be tough, actually. Boo's going to be very tough. Because, like... I guess Buzz Lightyear could probably take a child. <laughs> I guess he could do that thing where he... Like, what Woody did and just freak out a person. I feel like the little army men could probably, like overpower her as well like 40 of them or 20 of them hold her down on one side 20 of them hold her down on the other side and then the other two just like stabbing her till she's dead god i'm talking about boo dying um i don't like that uh i guess i'll put boo at five i think she just squishes these bugs uh, Mr. Potato did get, did survive getting ravaged by a toddler. <laughs> she, you know what? She chokes on Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head's parts. Yo. Hi. I have to stay off cam. Fine. I like it that better anyway. Yeah, I have to like monitor if my phone's actually charging because my charger's like semi broken. Did so. it die? Did your phone die? Yeah. Yeah, you were you were V frozen for a while. And then you yeah, just disappeared. I was, at, I was at like seventy percent when I started the stream and then throughout the stream my phone just drained seventy percent battery. Well I've ranked four characters without you. And then if I even touch my phone charging cord from where it is, it stops charging and that obviously happened and It feels like you may not have heard me. Huh? I've ranked Four characters without you. Yeah, I figured. I expected you to. I didn't expect you away from me. I'm Who'd not, you rank? So I, I made the final decision on. Uh, Juicy needs a laptop. He he needs something, right, Ricey? Like he needs literally something that makes this better for all of us. <clears throat> you guys could all donate to the Juicy buys a uh, computer fund. Yeah, or two phones. You're right. Um, so I think I, who did I rank? I ranked Mrs. Potato Head without you. Where'd she end up? Seven. Similar to Mr. Potato Head? Yeah, right under Mr. Potato Head. I think she beats Mr. Potato Head. Please explain why. The wife always beats the husband. Okay, you got it. What she says goes. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're, you're right. There's no way, he's the married, there's no winning. <laughs> Um, so I also ranked Mike Wazowski at number three. Uh, he's below... He's extremely durable. I mean, dude banged his nuts on steel beam from, like, four feet up. So you haven't, you haven't seen Suicide Squad yet, right? No, Mike Wazowski is also not in Suicide Squad. Right, but spoiler alert. This is why I think Buzz Lightyear beats Mike Wazowski. In Suicide Squad, right? Uh-huh. Harley Quinn takes a javelin and jumps into a giant... Um... A giant starfish and just stabs it in the eye. And she, like, just gets sucked into his eye. And then, like, the eye just bleeds out. So I'm thinking that, like, Buzz Lightyear does a similar you can't thing. use that. It's not canon. But Buzz Lightyear would do a similar thing with his wings and just fly into to Mike Wazowski and just stab Mike Wazowski in the eye. Okay. And then I ranked... If you're not using Suicide Squad as a reference, I'll allow it. If you are, I'm not going to allow it. Because Suicide Squad is not Pixar canon. I'm using... Suicide Squad as a reference of what what like would happen if you got stabbed in the eye from a tiny little thing. I think any person you can use <laughs> any movie in anything where someone got stabbed in the eye and I just I basically just used it as a thought of oh wait, this is what Buzz could do. It's similar to this. I agree. Okay. I put Sully number one. And I put I, I put Boo at eight. Why? 
Uh, I think she chokes on Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Why she be everyone else though? Because they're all toys and bugs, and she's a child. I think she might choke on a bug. Let's keep in mind she is human. Okay? Yeah. Uh huh. Black widows, which is the spider, kills humans. Okay, you've you've you know what you've made your case. I'll put her at. Wait. Yeah, I'll put her at 12 for now. Talk to me about, about my guy, Ham. Happy wife, happy life. I just saw that, Ricey. Toy Story's hard because they don't really have sentience uh, around humans. I mean, they have shown they can, which I guess. So I guess, like, they yeah. could tech. So, so one case I made for, for Buzz beating her was that he could do that thing that Woody did to freak her out. And just like twist his head. Okay, I'm good with that. Does she does she lose to Woody? Because Woody did do that and freaked out Sid. See, I don't think she'd be, I don't think she'd be as freaked out as Sid though, because she's not at all concerned when she's in this mo this place of monsters. She's like kind of oblivious. Yeah, she got like. A small amount of like oblivious nature to her. Yeah, I think I I think I like her at twelve. I think twelve works. Okay. Be all right. Be all right. Sounds good, Michael. She just chews them all. <laughs> well, that's why I think she beat she uh, loses to Mister and Mrs. Potato Head because she chews them and then chokes on their parts. They're not made for people or for children under three. <laughs> just like Andy's sister. Yeah. Um, now Cel Celia, Celia Bedelia. Absolute missile. <laughs> She's, um, I'm thinking she definitely goes above Mike. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> those snake, so. those snakes though. She got the... She's terrifying. Like she could maybe even take. She's got the juicy snake hair. She could maybe take Sully. My fucking phone right now. Um, do you think she could take Sully? No. No. Do you think she could take Buzz Lightyear? No. All right. How does Buzz Lightyear beat her? She doesn't have anything against Buzz Lightyear, really. I guess Buzz could like chop her hair off. I even like Buzz is a toy, so snake venom won't work. If her snakes are poisonous, which I don't think they are. No, I think they're just vicious. So, no, she, like, it's never shown of her, like, having the snakes attack, but they do kiss uh, Mike, so they're definitely sentient, and they could definitely eat someone if they had to. They're kind of their own thing. Yeah. Should we, should we rank the hair separate? <laughs> I'm kidding, we're not doing rank that. Rank the hair individually. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I think she's maybe, like... Where are, you, where are you thinking? Hello, they can kill her. Um, I I think three is good. Three? Yeah. Okay. All right, then we got old abominable snowman. Ah, another John Kratzenberg character. John Ratzenberg off. Um. Look, I think in theory he's really good. But he's weak. He's like, he's, he, so, okay. He's more happy-go-lucky, though. We're, I'm not, I'm trying not to use this canon right now, but because we don't get a lot of him in the movie, I want to use the canon of the TV show, Monsters at Work. So in Monsters okay. at Work, we find out that the Abominable Snowman is literally just a go-happy male guy. And the reason he got banished was because he found out about Water Noose's plan. That's the only reason he got banished. Um, so he's literally never harmed anyone in his life. Uh, he's just a, he's, he literally just wants to sell snow cones. That he pisses in. I feel like the army men might be able to overpower him. He's just, I uh, like to me, he's too happy go lucky. I don't think he has a mean bone in his body. Where are you thinking? Below the army men. 
I'm thinking six, right? Yeah, probably. Here's the I mean, he, here's the issue with this is that a lot of these characters have a size advantage. <laughs> and that's, yeah. And that's like I think the only reason that he gets to go six is because he's got that size advantage. He's taller than Sully. Who's number one? Right, I but I think just... I think Sully like, but he's not like that. Like the size advantage that he has over the toys and the bugs is a lot different than the size advantage he has against Sully. I agree. Uh, I agree. Now we got Randall, who I think easily number one. Randall? Mm hmm. I don't think so. Is it because he got beat up by Alabamans? Because I could put him 31. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. So the reason I think he'd be number one, I mean, he basically almost killed Sully. Yeah, I mean, it really comes down to, like, if you think he would beat Sully. I th I think he would, because the only reason he lost to Sully is because Mike hit him with a snow cone ball I by accident. I get behind that, because, like, technically, he beat the crap out of Sully. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, like, he would have choked out Sully, because he can go invisible. So, I mean, he choked out Sully, and the only reason he didn't kill Sully was because... Mike hit him with a snowball. I love when you repeat things I say back to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Now we got the old Roz. I'm <laughs> watching you, Wazowski. Oh, so she's got CIA training or whatever they're called. CA or CDA. She's a slug, so she's kind of slow. Yeah. Number one. <laughs> Michael's fighting for number one. I don't think she's number one, unfortunately, Michael. Yeah, I think Randall could probably choke her out. Randall's got the high advantage of him being just, like, able... Like, he can go invisible, so... Yeah. I think he's going to be number one for a lot of reasons. But, I mean... I feel like I would make a I case. Do you think Roz could just call in like CDA? Nah, no outside that? help. No outside help? Okay, no outside so help. it's strictly Roz. And I mean, if it's just strictly Roz, I don't think she can do much. So I'm putting her pretty low on the list. I think I'd put her at six. Why? I think she could take the army, man. I don't think she could take anyone below that, though. They're all toys, my guy. Okay. Um, Snowman versus her. I think the abominable smoke snowman can beat her. Bugs versus her. Who? Rick and Tuck. Tuck and roll. Can beat her. How? She's not fast. She steps on him, bro. I don't understand how we argued for so long about Flick versus Woody, but you're ready to say that these fucking tuck and roll could beat Roz. Roz is slow as shit. She's a slug, dude. She's not that slow, though. Tuck and roll are fast. They can move They're out of the way. Bugs! They're bugs, but I think they could just, like... You know, bounce off her eyes and blind her. I'm putting Roz 8. You're wrong. Michael agrees with 8. We stand Michael now, so. <laughs> <laughs> I like when you lose. Um, and then the last character of the night for this bracket, or this ranking list anyway. My guy, Water News. He, um, I will point out, he did overpower Mike and Sully at one point. Yeah, but he caught him off guard. Yeah, that's so. true. He did catch him off guard. Um, I would give him six, I think. Keep in mind, he's over 50. I give him 33. <laughs> Thank you.
Um, no, I think six. I knew it. <laughs> um, I'd probably rank him pretty high too. Um, he's got those. He's got a lot of eyes, and he's got a lot of legs. Are we good with that? Yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't die on me, phone. All right. Um, yeah. So this is how the list stands after week one. We got Randall number one, and we got Dot last place. And a bunch of bugs, toys, and monsters in between. Bugs, toys, and monsters. Um, oh, I got to take you off here. All right, so let's, uh, let me take a look at what we got for next week. I know Finding Nemo is the next movie. I already watched it. Um, That's going to be interesting because they're all underwater. Yeah. So if you take them out <laughs> of water, like, if you take them out of water, there's not much they can do. All right. So next week we have Finding Nemo, The Incredibles, Cars, and Ratatouille. Like Cars? Yeah, Cars will be... God, I'm old. Cars came out um, in 2006. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um. Yeah, that'll be next Fine week. Fine with Disney because like some of these movies were before I was born, so like. So it didn't make you feel as old. Yeah. So like I remember when Cars came out in theaters. <laughs> Rat Toei solo is your favorite verse. Oh, Ratatouille right. is one of my favorite movies of all time. Sorry, I was reading what Michael said. I, I'm trying to... What did Michael say? Rat Toei Solo is your favorite verse. Yep. Do you know what that means? I mean, Rat Toei Solo is my favorite uh, verse. Okay. Um, I think I... <laughs> I guess I'll save my opinion of where I think Remy's going to fall till next week, but... I think Remy's got a shot at winning this whole thing. My guy. Uh, oh, I'll leave that next week. Ratatouille. Solo is your favorite verse. I was, was going to look up how many Disney movies came out before you were born, because I think it's only like 20 out of the 54. Or 52. Really? Yeah. Um, I forgot one thing. I forgot about one very important thing, Father. The John Ratzenberg. Ratten off. Rattenberg's off. All right. So number one, we've got Ham the Man. Obviously, we just got to put him number one to start. Now, these rankings may fall different than the regular list because they don't have to try to fight other people to overcome the other person. This is just... They only have to fight each other. This is just Ratzenberg, my guy. Here's the thing. I think... I think P.T. Flea is a little bit, you know, he's a little sketch, you know? He bounces around. He's got that street history. I think him, uh, I think him squashes him. I do. I, think I do he, agree. I think he gets in the fur of my guy, the snowman, and really causes a lot of irritation for him. Yeah. The Ratzenberg off. So one, we've got Ham. Two, we've got Flea. Three, we have the Abominable Snowman, or as he's called in Monsters at Work, the Adorable Snowman. But yeah, that is the stream for tonight. Um, if you like that, come back next Saturday or Monday. I haven't. I gotta talk with my crew. Um, hopefully, I'll have more than Juicy next week. But I got to talk to my crew. I'm terrible, so hopefully. Yeah, so thank God. I, I, I can't just argue with you anymore. I need other people to back me up. <laughs> <laughs> or back you up so that we're not just at odds with each other. <laughs> um, we, should have, we should have Equal and Pika joining us. Possibly Dink as well. Um, it's either going to be Saturday or Monday next week because I will not be here Sunday. So I gotta see what works for everybody. So I will update you guys in my streams this week. I will be Where doing you going Sunday. Uh, family party. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Tuesday and Thursday, typical as usual. Tuesday will be Forest. And Thursday might be some Operation Tango with the old reel. I got to talk to him about that. Oh, a hydrate. Forest with the old Juicy and Tim. On Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. And then Thursday is... Uh, 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 reel might be joining us for Tuesday as well. I meant to tell you that. Yeah, I know. Uh, I got to look. I hope, he, I hope he does join us. Me too. I love Real. I, we haven't played games with him in a while, so it'll be good to have him on. Real uh, really opens up the uh, arena for me to say a lot more stuff. <laughs> um, you know, let's throw it over to someone I found here on TikTok. Um, I haven't really... I've, I've been in their stream once or twice. Uh, he's looks like he's playing Minecraft right now. Make sure you give a good old slabs love to uh, Steve Pie. But I am also just going to quickly... You know, do my social, do my my shout out for Juicy. Thank you. And the only really yeah. social I have active right now is Twitter, and that's Juicy Snake Twelve. Well, I linked your uh, your Twitch that you don't use. That's what I like to link. Follow me on Twitter, Juicy Snake Twelve. All right. <laughs> make sure you uh, make sure you give Steve Pie some slabs love, and we'll see you guys Tuesday.